Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I got the M1 carbine out again today. I bought myself some rear sights for it. These are more like the GI sights that, that came on it originally. When I got this gun it didn't have any back sights on it at all. The previous owner had tried to put something else on there I, I suppose and anyway it just didn't have any so I uh, at the time the only thing I could find was the Williams adjustable peep sights and I put a set of those on there and ran it for years but they didn't look very military this is what the gun was this is what came on the gun this is what it was designed to look like Another thing about the William sights was you had to unscrew the the uh, the aperture to get an Allen key down in there to adjust for windage and uh, well for to adjust for elevation you had to just about tear it apart. I certainly didn't like that, but this one here it just slides up and down. It's got a detent. You can set it for different distances. Pretty easy to do. Just slides. Set it for the range you want it at. And then it's got your click adjustable windage left and right right there. Nice audible clicks. You can feel them and hear them. And I put this on yesterday. Took me a good bit of gunsmithing, a lot of work with a file and uh, the uh, sandpaper, and I always work on the sights. Don't never work on the dovetail of the gun. Work on the sights because if you screw the sights up, you can just throw them away and get you another pair. But if you screw that dovetail up, you got problems. But anyway, I finally got it fitted in on in there pretty good we're gonna take it out here and put a few rounds through it and we're gonna get these sights adjusted out and working good gun is cleared by the way it's open bolts and everything so uh, we're gonna have some fun and set these sights you guys stay tuned we're gonna get set up do just that Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in the intro that I, I got these sites from Midway USA. I don't remember the name of them, but if you're in the market for a rear sight for your M1 carbine, go to US, Midway USA and in the search box type in uh, sites for M1 carbine and it'll take you right to them. They are all steel, the magnet picks them up so <clears throat> there we are all right so uh, we got the target set up and uh, let's take a few shots with it and see where we're at targets way off down there let's zoom in on it for you there we go Cap them one off and see what we got. Here we go. Let's take another shot. See where we're at this time. Lower and about the same. Yep, 
Yeah, we're doing better now. Bring it over one more click. Take another shot. One more click to the right. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Let's change ammo. Alright guys, we're back. We're going to change ammo. We were shooting a 110 grain full metal jacket ball ammo. These are some of my hand loads. These are 85 grain spear soft points. So the impact's going to be different, probably. They'll probably sail higher, if anything else. But we're going to check it out and see. Let's get to shooting. Zoom in on our target down there. Yeah, here we go. Put a few of these down range and see what happens. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ear protection in, safety off. All right, let's go. Sweats in my eyes, can't see my sight. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like that. I dropped my aim a little lower that time. Let's see where I hit. Oh, sorry about that. I'm about the same place. See if I can use a little Kentucky windage on this thing. Not a bad group. Alright, let's go down and get the target and we'll cut you guys off for a minute. Alright y'all, we're back. Thought we'd look at these targets. This is the 110 grain ball ammo. Full metal jacket. 
Uh, these two here just we'll disregard them because these are zero and in shots. This one up here, I think it was either me or a flyer, but right there is about that's about your accuracy for this gun. It's a it's a military rifle and uh, they just weren't designed for great accuracy. However, as you can see with the hand loads, it did quite a bit better. We got three right here and then two right there. And this could have been, a lot of this could have been me. It's, uh, it's not the best day to be shooting. It's very hot. Sweat running down in your eyes. and It's, uh, it's just not an ideal day for this. But uh, anyway, I, we got it done. And uh, I like my little sights. And I think they're going to be okay. So we appreciate you guys watching. And hope this entertains you a little bit. And uh, y'all stay tuned for the next one. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Now right, guys, it wouldn't be a video without blowing up a water bottle. So let's take this 110 grain hollow point. See what it'll do to that 2 liter. Get y'all zoomed in here. Let's check it out, see what we can do to it. If I can even hit it. All right, safety off, ear protection in. Let's go. I think we got it.